Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm Lindy, AKA Paleo Barbie. If you are new here, this is gonna be two days of eating carnivore my way. Um, as a disclaimer, I'm gonna say this because I feel like I have to say this in almost every video now. There are many ways to do carnivore. There are many ways to do keto. So if I'm eating something that you don't eat, that's great. I'm glad it's working for you, but that may not be the way I'm doing carnivore. Um, I do eat dairy. I do eat condiments and occasionally I'll have some hot sauce, peppers, salsa, or some rows, um, and not often. So also when I'm on vacation or a special occasion, I am going to do keto for. So just that disclaimer once, once more, because it seems like I have to do it every time. Uh, but anyways, it's no big deal. I just wanted you guys to know if you're new, I am doing carnivore, but I'm not, I'm not doing meat and salt carnivore like super strict carnivore i'm doing it my way so um dairy doesn't bother me coffee doesn't bother me by the way i still drink coffee so <laughs> um a lot of carnivore uh people do so anyways now that i got that over with let's get to the video all right so my first cup of coffee i had my collagen in it um and this one i'm making to go to take to work uh well to work at the church of course uh and gonna put my electrolytes, the Coco Loco, in my coffee. Hey guys, uh, we are just finishing up eating at IHOP. My, I took my grandson to eat brunch after church because my husband and my granddaughter are going to a meeting about getting baptized because they're both going to get baptized next Sunday. Um, so they were serving them lunch. So I took him and his little friends uh, <laughs> to go eat at IHOP and we had, it was really good. Um, if you've never eaten at IHOP, whether you're keto or carnivore, um, I play it safe. Usually I always just order uh, eggs, fried eggs, because you don't have to worry about them putting pancake syrup or not syrup but pancake batter in because they do put pancake batter in their eggs when you get scrambled eggs and omelets to fluff them up um you have to specifically tell them that to not do it but also you have to ask for whole eggs but i don't ever trust that they don't do it so sometimes i uh, i used to go ahead and get an omelet and tell them not to do it but nowadays i just do uh eggs over easy or something just to make, to, uh, make sure anyway we are headed home and i will show you guys what we get to, up to later. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. I'm out here on the bike. Um, today is Eclipse Day, so they are getting some schoolwork done. Um, and then we are going to go down to the park later, bringing a picnic with some unhealthy Eclipse snacks for them and a sandwich, of course, for them. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm packing for me yet. I haven't eaten yet this morning. Like I said, I don't eat a lot of times in the morning. Sometimes I don't eat until 11 or 12 o'clock. Um, I have had my collagen coffee. That's all I've had um, <clears throat> this morning. And I'm getting this bike workout out of the way so that I can have at least one workout done for phase one um, since we have so much going on today. So I am getting it done. See you guys when I eat something. All right, so for this for the Eclipse Park stuff, I packed Swiss cheese, turkey breast, some salami, and some other cheese, and some Easter eggs, hard-boiled Easter eggs. So that is what my choices are for my lunch at the park. All right, finishing up the day with um, some th these are some really thin steaks that we got at Sam's with some Chef Chamois on top it's storming outside so we just decided to cook them in the oven this time instead of outside hey guys i just want to wrap up the video um i i just want to start by saying i'm feeling great i am a lot more rested than i had was last week um i'm learning to listen to my body um with all the stress and things going on right now i just i'm trying to take moments when I have time if I can sleep in a little bit later or if I can go to bed a little bit earlier um, I'm doing that and, um, and even with the grandchildren sleeping over a lot I am trying to get their bedtime schedule so that I can go to bed as well and not stay up as late watching you know all this trash TV that I enjoy <laughs> uh, I can still watch it but I just try to um, get there a little bit earlier um, so I'm doing that that's one thing I'm doing obviously 
Um, and I'm feeling really great. Like I'm not, um, feeling deprived at all. Uh, as like I said, as long as I can still have my coffee and my condiments, I don't feel deprived at all. And, um, have my holidays and my vacations be keto or keto or whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel, uh, I don't feel deprived at all. So, um, if you're thinking about doing carnivore and you're like, oh, I can't do it. Um, you can, and strict carnivore is, I mean, if you're strict carnivore, that's awesome. I, I applaud you. If you're just doing beef and salt or you're just doing meat, eggs, butter, I applaud you for that too. Um, but there's some, you know, everybody has to do what works for them. As I said in the beginning of the video, and it is, you know, something that you have to find your level of where you're at. Now, maybe one of these days I'm going to decide I am ready to move up a level. I don't know. Um, but at this point I've moved up from where I was and I'm very happy at where I'm at right now. Um, I'm very happy with how things are going with my weight. I'm very happy of how I feel. Um, my, my migraines are back down at bay where they need to be. Um, I still am having some sinus issues, but that's because it's springtime in Texas and we have, you know, yellow pollen everywhere. <laughs> um, so that's normal. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I am just feeling great. I have energy again, which I'm so thankful for that. Um, but I was, like I said, I was dragging last week. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, um, I'm feeling good. I'm, I've got energy again, as I was saying, and I need that to keep up with these grandchildren and do all the things. So I've got a lot going on. I've got a lot on my plate, um, you know, with them. And um, also eating this way when you're busy to me is very easy because I don't really have to think that much about it. Um, yes, I do eat out sometimes. And I know you guys, some, some people who are more strict at carnivore are like, oh, you should never eat out because, you know, the oils and the whatever's and and yes I understand that <clears throat> but there are sometimes in some people's lives when um meal prepping you sometimes I have time to meal prep and sometimes I don't um because of the situation with the grandkids um my schedule changes on the minute on the hour every week uh so it's I may say okay Monday or Sunday whatever day I say I'm gonna meal prep I've got all this time to do it then my my whole schedule gets changed around. So it ends up not happening. So there and there's some weeks I get it. I get to meal prep. So it's just, it depends on the week. It depends on the day. Like I said, the hour, the minute, all the things. Um, so eating out sometimes is a necessity when I am, um, going through this busy time of life. So, um, if I could totally avoid it all the time, I would, we do eat at home a lot. So uh, eating out is just something that some, like I said, sometimes I have to do if I'm on the go with these kids. Um, but like today, I didn't show you, but today we had to go pick their mom up and take her to an appointment, a uh, doctor's appointment. And we, I packed us all a lunch because <laughs> we were going to be waiting on their mom for a while and it was around lunchtime and, um, I didn't want to go spend money on fast food. So I decided to pack us something. So what, that's what I did. Um, and did that the other day at the eclipse, as you saw that uh, the eclipse day at the park. Um, so we, we definitely eat at home a lot. We just have some on the go things at sometimes, especially when you're traveling, of course. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys I'm having, I'm feeling good, doing great. Hope you guys are too. And tell me something down below that you are doing this week to help with your, your, um, goals or your, bettering yourself personally or whatever. Um, tell me one thing down below that you are going to do this week to improve yourself. And, um, for me, it's just getting more sleep and I've been doing that. So I wanted to, to get that as my goal for this past week or so because of how I was dragging. Um, and that is definitely helping me. So tell me one thing you're going to do and I'll talk to you guys in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you do all the YouTube things before you leave and I'll talk to you soon.